Here in the last few days, I've spent a lot of time working on some of my GitLab projects, trying to get some of the, the GitLab projects that I've been neglecting here recently, trying to get everything in order. And I typically do this about once a year. I'll do a spring cleaning, even though it's not quite spring yet, but I'll you know go to all of my GitLab repos and try to make sure everything's up to date, any issues, I'll try to fix them, try to get any merge requests that need to be addressed, taken care of. And what I did today was I spent a little time with my shell color scripts repository. So what are the shell color scripts? Let me switch to my desktop here because I actually don't talk about this very often. I, I probably mentioned this maybe once, twice a year is when I open these terminals and I get these random color scripts every time I open a terminal. That is from my shell color scripts repository over on my GitLab. If you go to my GitLab at gitlab.com slash dwt1, I've got all of my GitLab repos here. I've got like two dozen repos. Look for one called shell color scripts. And that's where you'll find the source code for all of this. There are 56 individual color scripts. If you go in this directory, there is all of the individual scripts if you wanted to just grab one for yourself or if you want to install the entire collection um, there are various installation instructions here in the readme. For those of you that are running Arch Linux or an Arch Linux based distribution if you don't have an AUR helper installed no problem just grab this package build that is an Arch Linux package build and from there what you want to do is you want to run this command here make package space dash cf and that's going to make the shell color scripts package is going to end in dot pkg dot tar dot zst which is a installable arch linux program you can install that with pacman do sudo pacman space dash capital u and then the name of that package dot tar dot zst file that was created when you ran the make package command and it will install shell color scripts now if you have an aur helper installed it's even easier because you can use something like yay or paru to just install the program shell dash color dash scripts from the aur for those of you on non-arch linux based distributions it's very easy there's these six commands that you need to enter in the terminal I give you the exact commands to run and once you run those six commands at the terminal you should have the shell color scripts program installed and again this should work on every Linux distribution now let me show you a little bit about this particular program so let me switch back over to an empty workspace here and what happens when I first open a terminal is it actually runs color script and so even though the package is called shell dash color dash scripts that's what you install the executable program is actually simply color script all one word so if I just do color script and then random what this does it just gives me a random color script one of the 56 random color scripts since I'm zoomed way in you now some of them look kind of crazy let me uh, zoom back out and I will show you a few of these I'll just keep running some random ones right now how do I get this to come up every time I open a terminal well that is easy let me zoom back in and let me open my dot bash RC file so this is the bash config file the bash RC at the very bottom here uh, well it's not at the very bottom but pretty close I have this section here says random color script and these are just comments these three lines here but the uh, command up under it is color script space random exactly what we entered at the command line so what this does is if you put this in the bash rc color script random gets executed every time you launch a bash shell so if bash is your default shell in your terminal that's always going to get executed i actually added color script random to my bash rc my zshrc and my fish shell config file as well so it doesn't matter what shell i'm in because this is the fish shell but if i switch over to bash you know color script random gets executed or if i switch over to zsh color script random gets executed now let me quit out of the bash rc there are other options you could use other than just color script random if i do color script with no flags and no options you get actually the help information so there are six flags available dash h or if you don't give it a flag it's actually just dash h by default 
So if I up arrow and do color script space dash H, yes, it is the same information. It's just letting me know about the flags. So dash R is actually random. So if I did color script, I could do the word random. You see, I have three different options. I can do dash R or dash dash random or just random with no dashes. So if I wanted to shorten this, obviously color script dash R just gives me a random color script. Let me get back to the help information. Another one, if not everybody's just going to want to get a random one. Some people are going to find a particular shell color script they like, and they want to use that single shell color script, for example, in their bash RC or their ZSH RC. Well, you can do that. You see the E flag. If I do color script dash E for execute, I can specify a specific color script to use. And if you're not sure which one to use, color script dash L list all installed color scripts. So do color script space dash L and that list all the available ones. For example, maybe the one I want to use is number seven DNA. Well, how that would work is we would do color script dash E and I could either have it execute number seven, the index number, which gives me the DNA color script, or I can specify it by name. The name was DNA. And again, it runs the DNA color script. Now, one thing about the shell color scripts is there are three or four animated shell color scripts. So if I execute uh, number two, which is called bomber, let me just type the word bomber just to be sure. This is an animated color script, right? I can't actually do anything. I can't get to the command prompt until I actually kill this process. To kill something in the shell, control C stops that right now I can type there's again about three or four of these animated ones and I don't like these because a lot of times when I'm pulling up a terminal I want to quickly be able to start typing what I want to type I don't want to have to control C to kill one of these animated things well there was an option if I do color script space dash H for the help you see dash B which is a blacklist flag it blacklists a color script by script name or index number what this does is it actually takes the particular shell color script that you blacklist it removes it from the color scripts directory and puts it in a blacklisted directory so let me show you this in action so I'm gonna do color script space dash B for blacklist and I will blacklist that bomber uh, script because I really don't care for it so let me blacklist it it's gonna ask for sudo privileges because we're moving some stuff around in a directory that needs sudo privileges and now let me up arrow here and get back to color script dash e for execute bomber and you see it's no longer there so if I do color script random I never have to worry about this bomber script coming up again now if for some reason you blacklist some of these scripts and later want them back let me clear the screen what you can do everything gets installed in slash opt slash shell dash color dash scripts now if I do a ls in this directory there is another directory called color scripts that's where the color scripts are actually hosted the individual ones so if I cd into color scripts and do an ls there are the 56 color scripts or actually it's just 55 now because when we blacklisted the bomber script it's no longer listed here because what that command does it actually creates a new directory called blacklisted and it puts those blacklisted shell color scripts in that directory so if we cd into blacklisted and do a ls you can see there is bomber and if for some reason I decided I didn't want to blacklist it. I probably should create a unblacklist function. I'll eventually get around to that. But what you'd have to do is you would uh, sudo move bomber up a directory, right? Dash dash slash. And then if I cd up a directory into the color scripts directory and do a ls bomber is back in its place. So now if I do color script dash e bomber, it is back. And then control C to kill that animation. So again, I, I get questions about this all the time, the shell color scripts. And the reason I'm talking about shell color scripts today is because I haven't mentioned it on camera in probably a year. Also, I spent today working on shell color scripts, so it, it's on my mind. And I had some merge requests. Uh, a guy actually did a some merge request on my GitLab, and he submitted three or four new scripts. And 
as the, the thing evolves, I do want to keep you guys up to date on this. Now, for those of you that already have shell color scripts installed through either the AUR or if you're running DTOS and have the DTOS core repository enabled, you guys should already have the latest and greatest version. Those of you on Arco Linux, shell color scripts is also available on Arco, although they package it themselves, so it may take a few days before they update to the latest version of shell color scripts. Now, before I go, I need to thank a few special people. I need to thank the producers of this episode. Devin, Gabe, James, Matt, Michael, Mitchell, Paul, Scott, Wes, Allen, Armor Dragon, Chuck, Commander, Angry, Diokai, Dylan, George, Lee, Linux, Ninja, Maxim, Mike, Erjan, Alexander, Peace, Arjun, Fedora, Polytech, Red Prophet, Steven, and Willie, these guys. They're my highest tiered patrons over on Patreon without these guys. This episode would not have been possible. The show is also brought to you by each and every one of these ladies and gentlemen. Each and every one of these fine ladies and gentlemen. They're a supporter of mine over on Patreon because I don't have any corporate sponsors. I'm just sponsored by you guys, the community. If you like my work and you want to help me out, subscribe to DistroTube over on Patreon. All right, guys. Peace. Someone should create a Xmonad logo for shell color scripts.